Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching iGyan, and we're sitting in an unusual place with the tripod and the camera and the mics and everything set up because we're inside the Kia Carnival, and today we're going to be reviewing it. But this is a spacious car, and we're going to be telling you whether or not this is going to be worth your money. So let's quickly get started. The Kia Carnival has been designed to fit inside a price slot which is unique it doesn't compete with anything else it offers up features and luxuries that you can't really find on even SUVs or sedans of this price bracket on the outside this is a really massive vehicle it's got a really enormous presence on the street and you can see it coming at you from a distance and that is because of the angry or aggressive front so if you talk about the front on the front, we do get these new DRLs, which fit in with the Tiger Nose Grille, which is Kia's infamous grille. The DRLs are LED DRLs, and if you pick the Prestige variant and above, uh, you also continue to get LED projector headlamps. So those headlamps, the LED headlamps are super powerful, and at night, they basically illuminate the entire road, and uh, that'll be really handy for people who will drive this car. So the car is available in three colors, black pearl, white pearl, and steel silver. We have the white pearl here, uh, which will be a common color of choice for a lot of people, but I think the steel silver will also be a really interesting option for people if they're looking for this. Now, we've got the limousine variant, which is the highest of the lot, and approximate on-road price is about 40 lakhs for this car, uh, but it does offer up some features that warrant that price as well. Uh, on the top variant, you also get these alloy wheels. Now, these are 18-inch alloy wheels, and Kia calls them the sputtering finish alloy wheels. Uh, they look nice, they go with the vehicle quite well, gives it a really aggressive stance on the side as well. It does have a boxy shape on the side. It does look like a van and it is elongated, so it does give you that feel, but it doesn't completely feel like a van. It, it still has that aggressive on-road presence. And if you look at the rear, you continue to get that angry wide look on the car. You still get LED uh, tail lamps on this and the boot is also electronically activated and uh, you can also open up the boot from uh, the key itself. So the car has uh, really interesting chrome accents all over the exterior and uh, you also get uh, night illumination in the front handles uh, along with the button press to unlock the car on all four doors. Uh, so there is a keyless entry. So the motorized sliding doors are one of the coolest features of this car and make it look really uh, impressive. It's got a really baller kind of a look of this car and if you use the sliding doors, you'll start to really love them because it looks amazing when the doors open up for you. And you can also open up the doors from the key itself. So if you're walking towards the car, you can simply press a button on the key and slide open the doors if that's what you want. Now let's talk about the inside of the car. And for that, I will want to go into the driver's seat, even though the rear seat is possibly the most comfortable part of this car. But I'll come back to that. Let's move on to the front seat and let's talk about how this car is to drive and move around. Now, this is a place to really enjoy your driving experience if you're one of those people who's going to be driving the Kia Carnival. It's fully equipped to make modern day driving comfortable for you and uh, that starts off with the steering wheel. Uh, this variant has a leather wrapped steering wheel, a very nice uh, feeling steering wheel, really grippy and comfortable as well. And you've got all your function controls on the steering wheel. And you also have your UVO Connect along with volume controls and basic infotainment features. And then you also have your cruise control controls on the right side here as well. Now, the car also has a uh, smart air purifier inbuilt. So there's an air purifier that sits in the center console. It measures the air constantly inside the cabin, and you can also display it on the infotainment system over here. Or you can see a preview in the back seat as well. It gives you an indicator with the AQI of the inside of the car. The touchscreen is also connected to a multi-speaker Harman Kardon sound setup which sounds absolutely amazing. It's uh, really rich with sound and uh, the bass is also right out there. And the overall volume levels are also good. So if you're somebody who likes to listen to loud music or if you're somebody who likes to listen to like good classical music inside their cars, they, you'll thoroughly enjoy the experience in surround. The speakers are amazing and they deliver on that sound quality promise. So you'll really enjoy driving this, listening to your music, enjoying all uh, the amenities that are available on the infotainment. Now the seats are really comfortable and plush as well in the limousine variant, again leather wrapped. And uh, what you get in the driver's seat is a seat ventilation. Now this car typically would be for somebody who sits in the rear seat I think. 
uh, somebody who would like to be driven around. So seat ventilation in the driver's seat, I think, should be either in both the front seats so that both the driver and the co-passenger or the front passenger can enjoy the seat ventilation or it should be for all sorts of uh, seats. So uh, the guys in the back, the people who paid for this car, they're not getting any seat ventilation. So the person enjoying the limousine experience in the back of the car is not getting any seat ventilation. And I think that's kind of strange and that could have been changed. And in all four seats, or at least the rear seats should have an option to add seat ventilation if you want to. So we've got a really impressive engine here. We've got a 2.2 liter engine that produces 200 horsepower and uh, then also produces uh, 440 Newton meter of torque, which is required for this uh, mammoth uh, to cross flyovers and uh, uphill climbs, which this can do easily. It does hesitate sometimes on really steep climbs, even if you push down on the accelerator completely, but it has enough torque to take you up there, even if not in a speedy fashion. Uh, if you've got enough speed to begin with, then it shouldn't be a problem for the engine. The engine is nice, it's peppy, it's quick and responsive. It's a similar engine to what we've seen in the Hyundai Arsenal. This car has an eight-speed automatic transmission that also is quick on the shifts. And if you really want to go, you can push down the accelerator and it provides you that power the minute you need it. You also have a manual mode here. You don't have paddle shifters. That is something that I would have liked to see. But again, this is not supposed to be a car that you'd self-drive as much as you sit in the back seat. So paddle shifters probably don't make sense, but you do have manual positions here. And if you want to go, you can push up to go up and down to go down, which is usually the opposite of what sports cars typically have, which is down to go up in gear and up to go down. Now coming back to the seats, uh, this, uh, the driver seat is also 10-way power adjustable but that's again only for the driver seat, the passenger seat is manual and the rear limousine seats are also manual. Now these are the kind of things that you would like to see convert into more electronic uh, adjustments. So I would like to see more electronic on the passenger side and more on the uh, rear passenger side as well in the limousine area. But again, if it's something that you're going to be driving, that feature in itself is a good add-on um, but again if you're paying for the limousine i would have liked to see all electronic seats at least in the first four seats of the car now talking about materials the materials seem and feel super plush uh, the quality of the interior is really up there we've got wood trim on this variant and overall the dashboard is also soft touch it's got this leather like finish uh, but it's the soft touch material doors are all soft touch uh, and really nice padding on the interior of the car. You can hear that it's, or you can't hear, uh, but the car is really quiet and uh, really comfortable when you're driving or riding in this car. You've also got a wireless charger for smartphones that do have wireless chargers, but if your uh, door is open, the wireless charger shuts up for some reason. Uh, but when you shut the door, then the wireless charger turns on again. Uh, this is a feature whether the passenger door or the main driver door opens. Uh, the wireless charging stops. I don't know why they've enabled this, but that's a feature that they've given. Also, if you forget your phone in the car, the car will inform you that you've forgotten your phone in the car and uh, it'll give you a small warning that you need to pick up your phone when you turn off the car and are about to leave with your phone on the wireless charger. You've also got a bunch of 12 volt sockets, one on the passenger side footwell. Uh, you've also got a USB port here for uh, connecting with Android Auto and CarPlay. Lots of cubby holes, so you've got two drink holders here a small uh, coin holder here and inside the center console is also a place to hold your sunglasses and a massive space to hold anything else. On the top over here is a rear conversation mirror. It's something that is really handy because the rear view mirror may not be able to look at the entire car but the conversation mirror allows you to look at everyone inside the car and if it's somebody who's uh, taking their kids in the back seat this will be something that will allow them to keep an eye on the kids. The doors also have massive pockets. Both front doors have lots of space. You can pop in large bottles in there and basically all your trash from a long road trip can easily fit into this uh, door pocket size. And more importantly, you have lots of light coming into the cabin because we have uh, two sunroofs here, one in the front and one in the rear. Both are extremely large and allow for lots of light to come in, making this already massive car feel bigger and more vibrant, allows you to feel like you're in a much bigger space than you presently are. Now, safety-wise, you get your standard features. This one has ABS, EBD, dual airbags in the front and curtain airbags that go all the way to the back for all passengers. So as far as safety is concerned, this car is fully equipped and it does have a massive crumple zone in the front as well to absorb 
any kind of frontal damage that you may have in this car. So one of the coolest features of the Kia Carnival and mostly all Kia cars is the UO Connect app. And once you have it on your smartphone and it's connected to your car, you can access a bunch of features directly from your smartphone. So not only can you start and stop the car, uh, as far as the engine is concerned from this app, uh, you also get a Apple Watch or a Android Wear app for Wear OS. And uh, then you can also control uh, certain things. So you can control the climate control. You can also turn the horn and the lights on. So if you want to locate your car somewhere, you can do that. You can also lock and unlock the car and also look at diagnostics. So you can look at the status of the car and see how the car is doing, if there's anything wrong with the car. Uh, you can also see where the car is on a map so it'll tell you where the car is located on a map in case someone else is driving it and you want to know where they are you can do that as well you can also see where all you've been driving uh, where you've parked all of those things are also available um, inside the app so lots of features built into the app and you can also look at the vehicle uh, air purification level from the app as well. So if you want to look at the air quality index inside your car before you go into the car, you have those features directly on the app as well. So fully featured with respect to uh, uh, smart features and technology. And more importantly, you get a three year subscription with the Kia. So you get three years of access to the Uvo Connect features completely free. And then you also have the Uvo Concierge service and uh, you also have the assistance service. So if your car breaks down, you can uh, just press a button on uh, the car and call for assistance or call the concierge and get tickets to a concert, even though those are not gonna happen for a while. But you have all of those features and they come in handy uh, for people, especially if you're buying a car of this category, you'd want those features and you get them. So it's time for a ride and you wanna leave, but it's really hot outside. Your car's been sitting in the sun and been baking on the inside. The seats are hot. You don't want to go and sit inside your car right now. So you can simply connect the Uvo Connect app and connect to your car and set up the climate, start the engine. And before you reach your car, your car is a nice 24 degrees versus the 40 degrees that's outside. This is a really cool feature to have and mostly really expensive cars have it. Uh, but all Kia cars mostly now come with this feature and the Kia Carnival is a perfect car to have this feature because when seven people are traveling in one go, they can all sit in an air-conditioned car and pre-cool it before they reach the car itself. For most people, when you buy the Kia Carnival, this is the seat that you're going to sit in and this is the most comfortable place to be inside this car. Not only are these seats individual captain seats, but uh, they also have additional reclining capabilities and uh, they also have leg rests, so you can pull up the leg rests and rest your legs and sort of get in a very comfortable position in uh, this car. Now, despite being uh, independent seats, you can also move them inwards and outwards, so you can get a more central position like I have with armrests on both sides. Uh, for most people, this may not be useful, but for somebody who likes a lot of space around him, this is a really great feature to have in this car. Also, they are on a really long rails, so despite the fact that the front seat is actually in my driving position, I have about here a foot and a half of legroom, which is absolutely amazing. And I still have a lot of headroom as well. I do have a sunroof eating some of that headroom but it allows me to get all this light inside the cabin and I'm not complaining about the sunroof. I also like the front sunroof as well. We also have uh, independent controls for the rear aircon. You have uh, an electronic door over here and you also have uh, these sunshades uh, that you can manually pull up or down depending on how you like it. And all of these massive windows, even though they don't go all the way down, but because they're nice and large, uh, they give this cabin a really spacious and airy feeling which is what you want from a big car like this. Now, you also have rear screen entertainment on both sides. So you have 10 inch screens on uh, both the seats for the rear passengers and you can connect several things here. You can also connect to YouTube and watch videos on the go. And because of the angle at which the screen is, it reduces motion sickness. So there's a lot of power on uh, call for this car, whether you're being driven or driving yourself. You don't feel that this car is sluggish. You don't feel the need to push the accelerator too much. Even if you're taking tight turns, uh, like we are right now, in tight spaces, uh, this can easily manage. The turning radius is really small. The steering is light and compact. It's easy to drive the car, even though it's large and unwieldy. And that, along with the luxury features on the inside and all the technology that's packed into the Kia Carnival, make it one of the most special cars available on offer today. And uh, if you go for the limousine variant, uh, you would really like to see some additional features. I would like to see things like electronically operated seats in the back, massaging seats, air-cooled seats in the back, 
uh, features that Indians would enjoy, um, especially in this price category. But for now, for what it's worth, for what it offers with respect to comfort, with drivability and features, uh, the Kia Carnival is definitely a special vehicle and it's for those people who like a lot of space. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team iGyan. If you want us to do more car videos, uh, let us know in the comment section below. This has been Bharat. You've been watching iGyan. I'll see you in the next one.